uh, we would like to know what do you think about uh, the future philosophy of the design? I think uh, the way I see it is that people would look for more personal design. So uh, something more unique, something more, something uh, object that you can feel something and you want to keep for a long time. Uh, I mean, uh, there was a long period of people buying something for maybe one year and then throw it away and uh, buying something new. And uh, the way we see design is uh, to make something really special that makes a person really happy and you really want to keep it. So uh, that's, that's, I, will, I don't know if this is what's going to happen, but uh, I will be very happy if people will have the culture to take and to buy things that stay for a really long time. Okay, so this new collection with Mutina, which is actually the second collection that we are doing with them, uh, it's very much inspired by uh, textures, by texture and by uh, tactility, and, and in a way we were focusing on fabrics. In the beginning, what we did, we were just working with plasticine, like what babies playing with, and we were collecting textures from the street, from trees, from lots of materials, and then we realized that the one that we like the most is fabrics. So then in the collection you can see here there is texture of men's suit and a kitchen towel and a summer blanket. And there was a certain stage that we had like 20 or 30 different textures and, and then we decided to focus on certain ones. And we see like what works nice with the others. So this was the starting point, like working on textures and uh, fabric textures. And then we started to work on colors. From one side, like Mutina, they like very much like grays and black and white and we like colors. So we tried to come up with some colors that will work good with their own gray colors. So this was the second focus. And then also the shape, like to, to give architects and, and interior designers the freedom to create as much variety that they can do with this uh, collection. And when, do you, when do, you, uh, do you prepare a project? Do you think also about the sustainability and the environmental uh, problems uh, using special materials? I wouldn't define ourselves as an environmental designer. It's not, it's not something that it's like, this is our main purpose, but we are environmental people. And like, this is the way that we think. So for instance, we think that like, things need to live for a long time. So we try to make things that will last for a long time. So you get something and then you lose, like, use it and then you don't change very often. And also we try to, to deal with materials that even for us, when we make them, that it will be healthy materials. And also like just the way that we live, we try, you know, to, to recycle, but, and we like paper, for instance, like there is certain materials that like just naturally without any reason, like I'm very attracted to paper and Shai is very attracted to wood. And this is very good materials in terms of sustainability, but I cannot say that like this is our main goal and this is our main focus.